The Supreme Court will now decide the fate of an abortion medication. And the ruling will finally bring a definitive decision on whether the medication used in more than half of all procedures should still be easily accessible. So Josh Blackman is a professor at the South Texas College of Law. Joining us this morning live here. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. So Texas abortion laws have been in the national spotlight again recently mm -hmm. after a woman was denied a doctor-recommended abortion. Now the Supreme Court has agreed to hear Texas's challenge to the drug Mifepristone. What's at stake here? Well, the case involving Ms. Cox involved whether she could actually leave the state to have an abortion. The Supreme Court's case is something different. It's can people within Texas use Mifepristone uh, which is a drug that can be used to cause an abortion. Um, last year, a federal trial court in, de in Texas held that this drug cannot be used, that it actually was not adopted in the proper process. Uh, the federal court of appeals said, well, you can use a drug perhaps uh, 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 at some point during the pregnancy, but not later on. Uh, the U.S. Supreme Court then intervened briefly and said, no, 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 let's keep the status quo. The drug can be used as it's been used for some time. Uh, but now the Supreme Court has decided to grant the case and actually hear whether this drug can be taken off the market altogether. Now, from what we understand, it's not just access to the pill that's up for the debate, actually how easy it will be to get it. Right now, Texans can get it by mail, but we understand that could change. Right. And it's a little complicated, but over the years, uh, the Clinton administration and then the Biden administration took steps to make it easier to obtain. For example, you can get it through the mail. You may not need to have a doctor visit in person and so on. And so there are various ways that the drug is now easier to get. And the plaintiffs in this case have challenged all aspects of those revisions going back from its initial approval, as well as the methods of getting it there a little bit more easier. So there are a lot of options in the Supreme Court's table of what they can do. Uh, but my suspicion is they reject the case. The reason why it's kind of technical um, the people challenging this are mostly doctors, and they say we don't want to have to treat patients who may have adverse uh, health effects from using these pills. Uh, that's a theory of standing that was always sort of very, um, you know, confusing to a lot of people, and I'm not sure that the U.S. Supreme Court will accept it, that, that, that these doctors can actually challenge the approval of the drug. Hmm. And why is this a Supreme Court issue? You know, in Dobbs, uh, wasn't the point of the decision to send anything related to abortion back to the states? Right. So Dobbs took off the table whether the states themselves can regulate it. But we have these FDA approvals from even before the Dobbs decision about whether the federal government followed the correct process to approve these drugs. So it's related to abortion, but it's actually not about abortion. It's about sort of boring issues of pharmaceutical law that most people really don't know about, but they care about now uh, when it comes to uh, the abortion issue. Okay, so we're understanding that a decision could actually come in the middle of the presidential race. Are you hearing about the same time, maybe as long away as the summer? Yes, when the Supreme Court sort of took the timetable, it did almost guarantee the case would be argued at some point in uh, uh, early 2024, probably February or March at this point. And we're looking at probably a decision by June of 2024, so right in the smack dab middle of the uh, presidential campaign. Well, it is a definitely a, a, a very hot topic of, of sure. people and, and will be a, a contention, I'm sure, between all of the debates that will be taking mm -hmm. place. Yeah, we'll be following this closely. Uh, Professor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.